may this message be God's message. Before I start, I want to uh, speak again what I have spoken previously. Now I know these videos, they get very few views, but if, they're, if only one person is watching them, that's an accomplishment. Uh, the seed is being planted for spiritual change in this person's life. Of course, it doesn't matter if they're get, I'm getting nothing. Uh, our job is to share the gospel and leave the results to God. But, you know, if these... Uh, videos have been a blessing to you or an influence to you, if they've made you think about anything, whatever. Uh, I don't need to know, only God needs to know, and God does know, but I would still appreciate uh, knowing. Uh, you can either, you know, post a reply if you're not comfortable, you can just send me a private message. That out of the way, let's get on with uh, what I, the message, and it's going to be uh, the book of Matthew, the first of the four Gospels, the four biographies of Jesus in the Bible. Uh, it's chapter 18, verses 10 through 14. It's about the parable of the lost sheep. Verse 10. See that you don't despise any of these little ones. They're angels in heaven, I tell you. They're always in the presence of my Father in heaven. What do you think a man does who has 100 sheep and one of them gets lost? He will leave the other 99 grazing on the hill and go and look for the lost sheep. When he finds it, I tell you, he feels better over the 99 that did not get lost. He feels happier over this sheep than the 99 that did not get lost. In just the same way, your Father in Heaven does not want any of these little ones lost. Now, this shouldn't be understood in the wrong way. First of all, if you leave behind 99, well, you're leaving them in danger. They could get lost, they could wander away, they could be attacked by wolves. Of course, uh, we don't live in a shepherd's uh, culture. So it may be something hard to relate to, but I don't think even then a shepherd would have abandoned 99 sheep. If he was going to look for it, he would have left someone else in charge or penned up the sheep or something. But it misses the point of uh, the message, and that is God rejoices over sinners who repent. Now, that's not a license to sin. It's not an excuse. Well, if I sin and uh, repent, God will love me all the more. No, no, no. That's using God, and God will not be used. But people like the Osama bin Ladens and uh, the Jeffrey Dahmers, if they repent and go to heaven, and who knows, maybe they did. Only God knows that. Uh... God will have the greatest joy over their salvation. Why? Because they had more to turn from, to be saved from. Not to say that God loves uh, any of us less. We're all special to God. But the point is this. Do you think your sin is too great for God to forgive? You're wrong. Confess your sins to God. Just... Jesus paid the penalty for all your sins, no matter how great. Accept what he did for you, and invite him into your life. God will rejoice. He will be the... He and all the angels will have such joy over your decision.
May this message be a blessing to you. And to God be the glory. Amen.